Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles, elders, the gym messes, who deserve that double honor, and still go out to the highways and byways. And peace and blessings and mercy until I get up the epistle to the four corners of the earth. And I just want to make this video about um, these women, man. Because you women are out of order. You ears are like women are out of order, man. You know, you think you're above the man. You think you don't need a man. You know, you think you're independent. I said, well, according to the scriptures and out of the mouth of the creator, that's not so. You know, because you need a man to get saved, you know. You know, so that's why the, the scripture has that perfect order. So let's go ahead and get it. Um, I'm going to let the scriptures speak, man. Because the words of the Heavenly Father is more powerful than the words of ours, you know. Out of our own mouth, out of our own understanding. So let's get it. Uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this is 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Yahushai. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Yahushai is Yahweh. So the head of Yahweh, I mean, the head of Yahweh Shah is Yahweh. The head of the woman is the man, and the head of the man is Yahweh Shah, man. And the head of the children is the woman. So that's the perfect balance. That's the perfect order, man. Because a woman, a woman has her role to play. A man has her role to play. A man has his role to play, man. It's perfectly balanced. A woman can't do what a man does, man. And that causes that's a, that's confusion, man. Sending military to war is confusion, man. That's something that a man's supposed to do. I said, because as a man, we don't get all emotional about how the situation is. We don't get all emotional, man. We're not emotional. Women are emotional. Women think, women, women just think like a certain, just because they think it's a certain way, they think it's the correct way. That's not the case, man. If this, if a, if a, uh, if a, if a commander tells you to go kill somebody or go slit somebody's throat, um, a, a, a soldier, uh, a man soldier is not going to think twice about it. He's going to do exactly what his, uh, what the commander said to do. Probably even do even more. He'll probably slit his throat and stump his head in or something like that just to please him even more. You know, to go out of his way for this commander. And women are emotional. Women, women don't like blood, man. You know, you know, so women ain't supposed to go to no war. Women's supposed to be at the house cooking for their man. You know, being at the house, taking care of the house, cleaning, cooking, um, preparing themselves for their man. If they men want to have sex, you know, have sex, man. But, um,. Let's get um, uh, let's get it from Genesis. Let's get it from the first book of Moses. Uh, this is Genesis chapter three, verse sixteen. Unto the woman he said, "I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee." So and I and the woman and the and the curse of a woman for disobeying your heart, brushing your shah and listening to other doctrines, the woman uh has labor pains, you know. When they uh bring forth children is 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 it's a it's a lot of pain on them. That's a curse, man. That ain't no blessing, that's a curse, man. That's it because a lot of women doing during like like pushing out the kids and stuff like that, but a lot of women actually die from that, man. So, that, so that's a curse. That, that that's that's not no blessing, man. To be painful and that you could die from it. That's not a blessing, man. Knowing that you can die from that is not a blessing. That's a curse, you know. That's a curse from Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah himself, man. Something that you can't get rid of until he wants to get rid of it, man. That's what a lot of people don't realize, man. This is Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah show, okay? You you read the scriptures and you follow. You, you, you know your damn role, so to speak. You know your damn role. And you know it well. When you hire by Shima Shop, gives you a role to do it, to do, you do it, man. It ain't no, oh, I think that we should add this into the, no, man. No. 
Because you're you going to get destroyed, man. That's leading to your own understanding, thinking, oh, well, we should add this to the scriptures. Or I feel like if we do this instead of doing that, it would be a lot better. Or if I think that we should do this better, then we do it this way, then it would be better. No, because your ass is going to get put to death, man. I said, because that's being rebellious, man. That's why this is called the scriptures, man. The scriptures. We got a role to play. And the role we play is being the most despised people out of the whole world, man. It's your how it's it's the how about the men of the Lord versus the world, man. You know, anybody that preaches the true doctrine of the Bible, which is the doctrine of Yahweh Shimon Shah, we're hated all over the world, man. You're not gonna be liked anywhere you go. You know? So that's the role we gotta play. It's like two thirds they got their roles. The heathen, they got their roles. Esau, he has his roles, man. He got his roles. And all of that is recorded in the scriptures, man. So, that's why this, no, no other book can touch this Bible, man. Not no, none of these books. Not no other book. All them other books is trash, man. You know, if it ain't the Bible, I ain't concerned about it. You know, or if it don't links up with the Bible. So, uh, let's, let's get some more scriptures on these women, man. I said, because by Eve disobeying Yahweh by Shimei Shah, you know, that created a, she, the, the, the first sinner was basically a woman, you know, and well, let's get that, the scripture says that, the, 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 the first sinner was a woman, man, so all these women out here talking about some old men this, men ain't shit, and, and bitch, you, you, you were the first sinner, you was the first sinner, so what the hell are you talking about, man? Uh, I think it's the 21st verse. Uh, no, 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 hold on. Uh, um, where is it at? Where is it? Yeah, this is Sirach chapter 25, verse 24. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, through, and through her we all die. The scriptures, which is the Holy Bible, Tell, it tells you that the woman is the beginning of sin. So woman, because of the woman, we're in this 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 this, this sin, this sinful flesh, man. Because we sin, you know. Because she got deceived. Like the scriptures, I think that's in Corinthians. Adam didn't get deceived. The woman got the woman got deceived, man. Even though Adam didn't listen to his woman, he got weak and listened to his woman. Yeah, that's true. I said, but if it weren't for her giving in to that serpent, none of it wouldn't have happened, man. Women are so easily persuaded. You know, you're supposed to be rooted in what you believed in. But she wasn't rooted in what she believed in because if she did, she wouldn't have went with the serpent said. I said, but this is your How About Shimon Shah movie, and he wanted to do that. So, hey, if it was, if, hey, he did what he wanted to do. And he had the woman go off, and then he had Adam go off, and then now we got curses on us. You know, so, so the woman became the beginning of sin, man. So, hey, the scriptures, the scriptures is, is, is the truth, man. A lot of people don't like the truth, but too fucking bad. Uh, let's get Deuteronomy 28 and 56, man. Because a lot of these women, man, they, 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 they man. The women, a lot of women, especially the so-called, I mean, the so-called black women. Yo, man. Yeah, y'all women are off, man. You hear like women are off. You know, y'all, man, y'all don't even love y'all kids, man. And that's in the, that's in the curse. But let's, let's get this, uh, let's get that, let's get that out of the curse, man. I think it's Deuteronomy chapter 30, 28 verse 56. The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not, uh, advent, what I'm sorry, adventure to set the sole of her feet upon the ground. Her delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil towards the husband uh, of her bosom, and towards her son, and towards her daughter. So, the one of the curses was that our women is going to be evil towards the husband and towards the kids, man. You can see that nowadays, because a lot of women, it's like women are killing their kids, man. You know, committing abortions, leaving, leaving them out, heat hydration, um, um... One of the brothers from Miller Valor, her kid was getting a kid was getting bullied, man. You know, and it's just crazy, man. It it really is. Like you women are going off, man. You women are going off. A lot of kids die because of y'all. 
a lot of men die because of y'all. As a matter of fact, the Apocrypha says that, man. Uh, men go out of their wits for women. So men will kill, rob, steal. They'll do anything to please their woman. And that woman's going to eventually leave them anyway. So all that went, all that effort that man did for that woman was in vain, man. It was it was worthless. I said, because if he would have did that towards your by shot, it wouldn't have been in vain. You know? I said, but you going by your own understanding... You, 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 you felt, you just, you got, you got, you got destroyed, man. You got destroyed. Okay. Uh, so, a lot, that was, that was our curse, man. She shall be evil towards her son and her daughter. You know, treat them like shit, man. That's the curse according to the scriptures, man. Um, so let's get one more. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let's get Proverbs, I think it's 30 and 20. Oh yeah, let's get that, and then we're gonna get Amos, and then we're gonna wrap it up. Um, I think uh, no. Oh yeah, it's not going on chapter. Uh, thirty and twenty. This is Proverbs chapter thirty, verse twenty. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done the wickedness, man. So a woman will go off and commit adultery, sucking and blowing and fucking some other dude who who she doesn't know, but she's she's cheating on her husband. And she says she ain't done nothing wrong, man. A woman will do adultery and act like nothing happened. A woman, a, a blow rod, like like the brothers be saying, blow rod, go Go F the next dude and then go back to her husband and act like nothing happened, man. That's why the scripture says that when she said, when she when she did the act, she said, I've done the wickedness, man. So in her mind, she she don't think she done anything wrong, but she did, man. And the eyes of the Lord saw that, man. And if he, she didn't repent for doing that, he, she going to get destroyed, man. So let's get that precept. Let's get Amos 9 and 8. Let's see. Let's see to the men out there that wonder... Wonder why women do that, man. Oh, I guess I'll get Job after this, too. I'm going with the spirit here, Akim. Let's get, um, 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 let's see. Um, which one is that one? Which one is it? It's an Amos. Ah, I can't see. There we go. The water. Um, thy wife should be a harlot in the street. Where's that at? Amos, Amos seven. Okay, Slakia, Slakia, Akin. Amos seven and seventeen. Thus saith Yahweh, thy wife shall be a harlot in the street. So thy wife is going to be a, what's a harlot? A harlot is a whore, a prostitute, man. So your wife is going to be a harlot in the street, man. I said, so you might got a wife and she'll go, go, go freak off with the other dude, man. You know, which is wicked because that's adultery. <clears throat> the scripture says that, that thy wife shall be a harlot in the city and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword and the land shall be divided by line and thou shalt die in the polluted land. Yeah, they sons and their fathers is gonna die. Gonna, gonna, gonna be, it's like gonna be gonna die by the sword, man. You know, and there's many different ways, different swords, bro. Like uh, they might get shot by the cops. Uh, they might get shot by another nigga. They might get destroyed by y'all by Shimiyao Sha. Wherever y'all by Shimiyao Sha see fits with that sword for their destruction, so let it be, man. Um. Uh, and Israel shall surely go into captivity. Forth in his land. So, uh, in the polluted land. What is that polluted land? It really is just world, but specifically America, man. Because America is the most wickedest place in the world, man. America is wicked as hell. You know, next to America, I think, is Great Britain. But America, America is Babylon the Great, man. America is that, man. America is off. You know? So, but yeah, that woman should, that wife should be a harlot in the street. So your woman's gonna be a whore. That's why the scripture says, "Marvel not." I'm a perfectly paraphrase. "Marvel not if that wife basically do you wrong." 
I said, marvel not at it because it's not a surprise because the scripture told you in, in Amos that your wife is going to be a harlot in the city. So your wife is going to be a whore. Don't marvel at it, man. Just just, just tell her to have a nice day and the water you all about Shimei Shah for revealing that and you all about Shimei Shah get you another woman, you know. But hey, man, with that, I hope this lesson was edifying for your Akims, you know. But with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles of GMS, who still go out to the highways of Bahwas, who deserve the double honors, and peace, and blessings, and mercy to your items out there, pushing the truth to the, to the four corners of the earth, to these stupid idiots. This is your brother Naquam, Salawam.